Hey, what's going on YouTube family guys future tomorrow back with another vid and today we're gonna to do a quick comparison between the 2014 and 2015 Nike Hirachi triple white um, these guys are 100% authentic I just want to preface the video like that because I know that this particular setup in a comparison vid is very very similar to the comparisons I've done in the past of fake or replica versus authentic but that's not what this video is about today this pair guys came from size.co.uk UK super super huge thanks as I made a video on these last year and I mentioned thanks to rain the mass review he actually picked these up for me you guys can see right here inside the box rain was kind enough to include all of my paperwork receipt and all of that good jazz um, so guys again 100% authentic this came from size and then this pair here I picked up from uh, one of my local foot lockers here is the foot locker receipt for that right here again guys 100% authentics that we're looking at today there's no replicas on deck I just want to make that very clear because again given some of the past videos you may see on my channel you may be a bit confused as to whether I'm doing a replica versus authentic but no 100% authentic versus 100% authentic now as we know from or if you've watched some of my past videos and those of other reviewers that have gotten into some of the good juicy details for you guys the 2015 well anything post 2014 has actually come in a slightly uh, longer box the boxes are the same height but the length of the boxes are slightly different this the 2015 or anything again um post 2014 I'm sorry has uh, like about an eighth of an inch more um, in length on the actual box but again that's not big of a deal even though some people have mentioned to me as we've chopped it up that it's been interesting in stacking shoes if you stack your shoes and you were expecting them or your trainers and expecting them to sit flush in all directions uh, it's maybe posed a slight challenge but I don't think it's been anything uh, earth shattering if you will the style code guys and the label on these boxes on both boxes for both trainers are exactly exactly identical because I don't believe the slight change in materials and weight and um, countries of manufacture was enough for Nike to actually change the style code so on both trainers your style code is going to be 318-429-111 and the colorway is going to be white white pure platinum so nothing has changed there in that regard that is still the same now the actual trainers, oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention to you about the box as well. All 2015 Nikes that I have been picking up um, that come in this uh, type of box right here now has this indentation in the actual box. So just wanted to point that out as well. Again, this is small detail, but it is what it is. Moving forward, guys, the actual trainers itself. So with the 2014 releases, Basically guys, these were not um, pure white throughout. Uh, some people, you know, were kind of, um, I don't want to say upset. There was just definitely some conversation around the fact that this, as I just showed you guys up close, was just not a triple white versus the 2015 model or version I'm sorry of the model um, the Hirachi basically now is a pretty much a triple white trainer uh, except for one other distance difference as far as color which I'll point out um, to you guys in a second so there's that there is uh, in making um, this video earlier an earlier take of the video when I turned the shoes over and I looked at both of them side by side look at the outsole of the shoe guys you can see that this is somewhat of an off white color versus this top area is now more of a uh, of a whiter color it's definitely lighter if you will but then look in the area right here the irregular triangle which is very indicative of obviously because of the way a Hirachi is constructed um, look at this color you know again the irregular uh, triangle color and then look at the color right there if I put them side by side guys the white being used in the 2014 model again you can see here in the regular triangle is slightly lighter and more white than this right here some of you may be like dude what are you talking about like it's just triple plat it's just triple white it's pure platinum it looks the same to me if you have both in hand guys you can't say that this is the same they're they're not the same um you can 
clearly, uh, hopefully in this video, see the difference, but it's really not that big of a deal, to be quite honest. This still close up or from a distance is a pure white or triple white or white out trainer, if you will. And um, again, except for the top uh, area right here, which some people may say, well, if it's triple white, that could mean it's three different types of white. And you might be right, as I've just pointed out in the materials. But again, this is more of a white out trainer, the 2015 uh, model. Now, one uh, last thing I noticed as far as the actual trainer itself and the details, um, ever since 2014, the Nike Air, uh, the Nike Safari Bamboo Pack, um, which included uh, the obviously a Hirachi, guys, it's it's come across to me that the shoe is actually the Hirachi, the trainer, if you will, is actually lighter anything post 2014 and myself and other people have been experiencing some differences in the way that the actual midsole of the the phylon midsole of the Hirachi actually um, creases and just reacts over time it actually holds up pretty well there's been no complaints as in oh it's it's a worse quality or anything of that nature but we have noticed some differences in the new Chinese manufactured uh, Nike or Hirachis versus the um, again anything uh, pre-2014 um, all Indonesian made uh, Nike or Hirachis so I just wanted to point that out to you guys and make this video because I know that some resellers and just maybe genuine collectors or um, sneaker aficionados if you will may have had um, pairs of 2014 models uh, dead stock and they may be trying to offload them now for reasons such as you can actually make an all white Hirachi via Nike ID and then we also have this 2015 release so the resale value of these should have dropped significantly and you, sh you might have some people trying to offload them as their sales have pretty much dwindled because now there's other means and other ways of actually getting a triple white or pure white uh, Hirachi so they may you may find um, them cheaper and you'll be wondering well are they replicas why are they selling them so cheap one of the reasons may be guys again because you can now get a triple white via Nike ID or um, if you were able to get this release now as far as the release availability where to actually get these in the UK these uh, these newer 2015 triple whites were just released immediately sold out as you can imagine but usually the way Nike and some of these stores tend to stagger their releases is that some of the more less or lesser known stores or boutiques if you will will actually get models later on sometimes even during the summertime or in the next coming weeks so definitely pay attention to again some of the more or lesser unknown boutiques you may still have a chance to pick these up in the UK if you missed out on them Hirachi hype is growing here in the US I know a very interesting thing in my last three and a half weeks of commuting from New Jersey to New York for work I have almost every day guys seen someone wearing a pair of Nike Air Hirachis I cannot tell you how happy that makes me though um, I haven't seen anyone wearing these yet but I have seen so many other colorways Hirachi hype is finally taking over America and it's amazing considering that we just got these after almost 22 23 years May 2000 around May 2014 and just a year later we're one month away from May just a year later they're being they're so they're becoming so popular that in almost all of my commutes I'm seeing someone wearing a Nike or Hirachi now if you're in the US where to get these that's probably what you were asking um, guys I noticed yesterday but I posted on my um, Instagram which is probably a good reason to follow me on Instagram when I find particular sneakers in store that I know people might want I tend to post pictures of them if I've picked them up or just a general picture and I kind of mention where to get them from um, I saw these yesterday guys on eastbay.com some sizes were already gone it looks like they had just gotten them but since it's a since it's a white or all white trainer these are not gonna sit so I don't know if there's any more left there since me and other people may have posted about them you can get them there or the um, conversation has kind of moved to Twitter and um, again you can get them from Foot Locker but this I picked up guys a couple weeks ago so I don't know if that particular Foot Locker has any more left um, they actually might um, again I'm not really sure so you possibly want to call up or check your local Foot Locker if you're close by as far as GS um, these are available in K 
Kids Foot Locker and they're also available in Jimmy Jazz or at Jimmy Jazz in GS. Now, whoever um, uh, Foot Action Champs Finish Line has them as well. I have not seen them there yet. Um, I actually forgot to do a check on finishline.com and Champs, but you can go ahead and do that check your search yourself. But um, you may still be able to get these. And I've seen some fairly decent prices on eBay, um, which is kind of interesting because by the time eBay takes away their fees and stuff from the sellers, they're not going to be making that much. But I've seen these decently priced um, at um, on eBay, I'm sorry, but it's obviously not going to be the same $100 that you would pay in store. So that's how much these cost in store $100. I believe that the GS are going to be something like 85 or 90 bucks. If you obviously have, which I did for this pair, if you have like some type of rewards points or coupons, you can actually get these for less. I believe I may have actually paid 90 for these because I had like a $10 coupon that or um, rebate, if you will, that I um, was going to be... Um, that was going to expire pretty soon, so I think I went ahead and I used it for uh, for this pickup, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, guys, that is just again the quick comparisons. Wanted to give you guys some info about the 2014 versus the 2015 100% authentic Nike Air Hirachi Triple White. Um, if you guys have any questions, thoughts, concerns, drop them down below in the comments. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. I'll also leave a link to my Instagram down in the description in case you guys want to follow me over there. Chop it up. Just kind of look at some of the stuff I'm picking up. I have been posting more photos of stuff, pickups than I've been doing reviews lately. But as you can tell, hopefully from the last day or two, I'm trying to get back into my flow. I'm really feeling it um, and just kind of like get out more videos. But I am busy with work and other little things going on. So guys that is the deal um, thank you guys so much for watching it's your boy future tomorrow and I'm out peace